What's up, YouTubers? Johnny DIY here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change out your tub spout. If you guys are new to my channel, do me a favor, click the subscribe and the notification bell so you can get all my new videos. Alright guys, let's get to it. Alright, so maybe your spout's broken and when you pull up the diverter, a bunch of water still comes through and it doesn't go up through the shower. Or maybe your spout's just old and ugly and you want to update it. The first step is, if you have any caulking right here in between the spout and the tub, you want to take a razor blade and you're going to want to scrape that and break that seal off of the edge of the spout. Then what you're going to want to do is come and look underneath the spout. And if there's any sort of screw right here, that'll be a little set screw. It'll usually use one of these little tiny hex uh, Allen keys that you'll need to unscrew. And if it has a screw underneath there, you're just going to unscrew it and then the whole spout will come off. That's the only thing holding it on. But this spout is the one that's screwed on, so we're going to have to unscrew it. So you'll either need a plumber's wrench like this or some of these big pliers. Sometimes you'll be able to even unscrew it by hand, but this one's on there pretty tight. Alright, first thing we'll go ahead and put a rag around it so we don't damage it just in case we need to reuse it. Then I'll grab it with these big pliers and I'll give it a couple turns. There we go. Now I've loosened it up. Now we can unscrew it by hand. Now with that off I can go ahead and clean the rest of this nasty old caulking off. Okay, now we're going to want to take off any of this old pipe tape that's on the threading. Clean this threading as good as you can. If you have a small wire brush, you can use that. You just want to get any of the grit or debris or any of this tape off. Now you're going to need some thread sealing tape. I'll go ahead and put a link down in the description to all the tools and supplies I use. Alright, so we're just going to start at the beginning of the threads at the very end. And you're going to wrap it in a clockwise motion. We're going to wrap it around three times or so. And then when you're done, you just pull it tight and it rips. We want it on there clockwise so when we screw in the new spout, it doesn't just back it all off. Now we'll take our new spout and we're just going to put it on the end. Start threading it on by hand. Sometimes you can get it as tight as you can by hand. Then you may need to use your wrench to get it tightened all the way. Alright, now this one has a pretty big gap between the wall and the spout. So I'm going to run a bead of silicone. I'll put down some tape first. Now this is the important part before caulking. You want to clean all around it with some... I'm using rubbing alcohol, but you could use bleach or acetone. The key is you want to get it really clean. You don't want the um, mold to grow right around it, which will happen if you don't clean it. And it won't adhere right. And the other thing is, I recommend using 100% silicone. That's going to hold up the longest so you don't have to do this job right again. It comes in either white or clear. You, just, you really just need to put it on the top so that the water doesn't get in that hole. The rest of the water will just drain down. Alright, now we can go ahead and turn it on. Make sure it works. Pull up our diverter. Alright, awesome. Look, it's supposed to leak just a couple drops, but that's it. Alright guys, and that's it. Hope you liked this one and it helped you out. If you're new to my channel, do me a favor, click the subscribe and the notification bell so you can get all my new videos. Thanks for watching Johnny DIY. Keep on doing it yourself guys. Take care.